everyone. I hope you're well. So, um, welcome back to Legend of Mystics. Today is another Tuesday, so you get another video. Today we're going to talk about Sri Hanuman G and his uh, birth story, his origin story. Sri Hanuman is one of the major deities of the Hindu pantheon of God. And, um, he has a very interesting backstory uh, for his birth. He is considered as one of Lord Shiva's incarnations, as well as the son of uh, the wind god, Vayudi, as well as the son of Anjani, uh, Anjana and Kesari, um, to monkey parents. He's a monkey god. Um, kind of similar to the Son Goku of uh, Korean pantheon of gods. So the story goes that uh, Anjana, the mother of uh, Lord Hanuman, was actually a uh, celestial um, nymph who used to um, be part of the King of Heaven, the Hindu King of Heaven, Indra's court. One day she was, you know, making a lot of mischief, um, not paying attention to what's going on around her as the whole court was uh, uh, busy doing uh, serious stuff. And it happens that Rishi Durvasha was present there and he didn't like Anjana's behavior. So he told Anjana, hey, calm down. But of course Anjana didn't listen. So uh, if you know anything about Rishi Durvasha um, in Hindu <laughs> mythology, he's not a very patient man. Um, in fact, he is known for his temper and uh, doling out curses left and right to anyone, <laughs> anyone who slightly um, inconveniences him or, by the way, that's my <laughs> cat, one of my cats, Choti, um, slightly inconveniences him, so, uh, of course, he doled out, out a curse to Anjana that, Anjana, you're acting like an annoying monkey? You will be born as a monkey then. And of course, um, Sage Durvasha said so, so she had to be born as a monkey. But on the, um, on the positive side of things, she was also the mother of Hanuman, like I said, who is one of the incarnations of Lord Shiva. And the way uh, Lord Hanuman is considered to be Lord, um, can I help you? Rahu Devi, you're not, you're not happy we're talking about Hanuman, okay? Go away. As I was saying, um, Lord uh, Hanuman is also considered the son of uh, Vayu Devi, Pavan Putra Hanuman. He's the god of wind. What had happened was um, there was a special special yagna, a special ritual going on for uh, the birth of King Dasarat's son, Lord Rama. And Lord Rama and Lord Hanuman are like interconnected. And we'll discuss more about Lord Rama when we discuss his uh, his um, legend. But for right now, just know that there was a ritual going on for Lord Rama's birth. What had happened was the wind blew in a, a, a little bit of the blessed um, food, blessed uh, biasm, um over to Anjana, who was also claimed to have a uh, good son to uh, Lord Shiva. And uh, because the wind blew in that um, holy food. It was uh, considered that Pavandev also had 
was bothering this uh, relationship between him and Lord Hanuman, and you know, he he also kind of adopted Lord Hanuman. I'm so sorry, I'm distracted because my cat is wrecking all kind of havoc over here. Uh, yeah. So after uh, Anjana G ate that biosome, she became um, the mother of one of Lord Shiva's incarnation, Lord Hanuman. And um, there are lots and lots of other stories of how Hanuman, you know, ate the sun once, or he he tried to at least before Indra struck him with his uh, thunderbolt, and. And that's how his name became Hanuman. Hanu in um, Sanskrit apparently means your jaw, and Man means disfigured. So, uh, disfigured jaw, Hanuman. Yeah, interesting true story. The takeaways we can take from this, at least according to me, is how firstly how to turn a uh, curse into a boon, and um, when we discuss other stories of Lord Hanuman's life, we'll see that his whole life he was tasked with the hardest of things yet he excelled beyond you know anyone's imagination um he had curses put on him um he took on both voluntarily and because of circumstances the uh, hardest of things and got them completed so if there's any lessons we can take from Lord Hanuman's life is that nothing is impossible as long as you keep at it. I mean his own birth story, you know, was one that turned into a boon from a coming from a curse of a plague. And um, other things we can specifically take away from this birth story is uh, this idea of patronage by uh, several gods, you know. Um, for example, like in Greek mythology, you know, you would have Zeus, let's say, you know, fathering his demigods, and, you know, uh, other gods would support the demigods uh, in. Uh, the Herculean, or it, like for example in Herculean tasks and things like that, or uh, other ones. In here, you would have the same kind of matrix where, you know, he, uh, Hanumanji was Shivji's incarnation, so Shivji was supporting him. Uh, Vayudev, the god of the wind, of course, was supporting him. And uh, not to mention Lord Rama later on, you know, supported him. So, uh, same tricks like that. Uh, another thing we can take away from Lord Hanuman's birth story is that uh, it doesn't matter where you start off. It doesn't matter what your family is, what your um, circumstances is that you were born from. You know, it doesn't matter how costly you are, it doesn't matter how uh, humble, let's say, how non-wealthy you are, what matters is that you keep at it to uh, go to great lengths. So, yeah, these are my takeaways from this particular birth story of Lord Hanuman. I would love to know your uh, takeaways from this as well. Please leave it in the comments and I'll make sure to reply. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, like, share, and hit the bell notification so you can get all uploaded videos to your um, inbox right away. Alright, thank you, and I'll see you guys soon again. Bye!